Hi guys, I just wanted to make another quick video on something I found um, which may apply to other algorithms. Um, again, um, I appreciate you guys, you know, kind of bearing with me while I, you know, uh, get audio equipment and, you know, different uh, things to make the channel a little bit smoother, but I'm trying to, you know, get information out to people on, you know, specifically FPGAs and black miners, different things along those lines. Um, today, what I'd like to take a look at is Nervos CKB. Um, it seems like it's a good project so far, but you know, you can go on F2 pool like a lot of people do or what different pools and, and mine this, but I found a way to solo mine uh, CKB. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is Typically, click how to start, and you can read through here. Um, obviously, if you're in uh, Europe or the USA, Asia, there's going to be different um, server addresses. And I'm not sure exactly what the difference is. Obviously, this is uh, has a higher difficulty. Um, I might try that one. Uh, results may vary depending on the day. And uh, you can create a wallet, but typically, you know, you'd go to the Neuron wallet and download that and, and get an address that way. Or you can mine to an exchange, whatever you feel like doing. Um, mining software is not going to be applicable unless you're doing GPUs and this information's okay, but I'll show you uh, how to put it into your black miner. So as you can see here, we're logged into our black miner whether it's an F1 or a mini uh, F1 Plus, whatever your choice or the equipment that you have, you, you need to download the latest firmware and, you know, CKB. And uh, here is on two miners, you know, one of the address pool addresses. I'm going to try the 6868, which is the more difficult uh, pool address. And then you just put in your worker, um, address, which is also your, your wallet, and then your password. I'll roll down and click Save. So I just wanted to take a minute back here, and uh, we're looking at the solo uh, mining for CKB. Solo mining is different uh, when you're on a, a pool, like say F2 pool, as you will go to the profitability calculator. Uh, you're getting about 15 giga hash, which translates to roughly 600 CKB a day. You know you're going to get uh, um, about 600, 590 per day. That's kind of guaranteed to, to some degree. Um, when you solo mine, it's different. And Two Miners has great articles explaining what luck is and that sort of thing. So typically, um, we have 38 miners online. Uh, that's not typical, but... What I'm trying to say is that uh, you have a certain amount of luck and this will grow as you mine throughout the day. And there's a certain calculation, like for instance, you know, uh, I'll show you that page as well, but you know, depending on what your hash rate is, you might be able to, you know, get um, a block every 15 hours or 30 hours or what have you, depending on on what the difficulty and reward ratio is. That being said, as you can see, um, if you get a block in 24 hours, you're going to get 1,218 CKB, which is worth, you know, at currently seven dollars and thinks seven dollars and 98 cents. Sorry about that. Real life, right? Um, but say this takes you three days, then it's not really worth it. But when you solo mine, you know, I've had luck at 20% and got a block, and sometimes it's 120%. Um, it all depends. So let's go ahead and uh, give this a try. Uh, my current mining address that we had programmed into the black miner uh, looks like this, and there's no miner data, so hold on. Okay, that's better. So we have the address, and the point here is that you, you know, we currently have. Um, Showing a hash rate of 14.7, but this is an F1 plus, so it should get up to about 22. Um, and if I find a block, it's going to pay me pretty much instantly 1,200. Now this number here can vary during the day, depending on the difficulty. This can go down to you know 1,100, back up to 1,400, 
but it varies directly with your personal luck. Now, as you mine or go through the day, um, you know, it's going to add up 4%, 5% at a certain rate, and theoretically, the more personal luck you have, the more likely you're going to find a block. So I'm going to try to wrap this up and um, make it something that you know you can explore on your own. But right up here in this green banner, if you click Calculate Mining Profitability for Pool and Solo, if you click on that, this is extremely helpful tool and it gives you kind of an indication of, of what we're doing here. So with Eagle Song, which is CKB, um, if you have a, an F1 plus, your mega hash is going to be also known as giga hash, which, you know, you're going to be looking at, what, 22, 1, 2, 3. So, you know, roughly that's going to be how many giga hash you're going to actually do. So if we hit calculate, this can be obviously useful if you're doing other algorithms, but um, we can roll down here to CKB. And I'll let you interpret this. There's articles on it, but um, it's showing that it's about one day and seven hours. So that's not really that great, you know, to get uh, 1,200 CKB. If we go over here to the profit calculator, and let's switch this up to where... Um, we are using the actual shift F1 plus. Make sure that we grab the correct one. So for this instance, apples for apples, you know, you're going to get 878 guaranteed in one day. Whereas, you know, on this pool, it looks like for solo mining, it's going to be a day and seven hours to get 1,200. So that works out to about the same, I'd, I'd, I'd imagine. Now, the point is that when I've mined solo before, that um, you know it, it would actually find them sooner. And so it's kind of almost like gambling a little bit, and you might you know have a, a better results. It just depends on the day, how many other miners are, are mining, and uh, what your personal luck is, and how much hash rate you're putting into it. So anyway, I just want to make you guys aware of this. This could probably work, obviously, for, for other coins, whether that's going to be applicable to what a black miner can mine. That you know may or may not, may not happen. Um, but as you can see, we're up to about 21. And the luck is staying the same, uh, but it'll slowly increase over time. So I just wanted to show, I did mine to this, and um, you know, one particular day it went to 21% luck. So after four hours, uh, I found a block, which, you know, that was substantially, you know, uh, sooner than you normally would get, maybe like four times sooner than, or four times the amount, if you will. Um, here it took, you know, like over 24 hours, and I had to grow up to 138% luck. So um, one of the things that you can go through is if you go to the FAQ and you scroll down to what is luck, <laughs> um, you can go and uh, it says here that mining is a probabilistic in nature. If you find a block earlier than you statistically should on average, you are lucky. If it takes longer, you're unlucky. In a perfect world, you'd find a block on 100% luck value. Less than 100% means you were lucky more. You're unlucky. So I guess that's pretty simplistic. I think there was another article on this that I saw I can you know, uh, share. So I just wanted to show that to you guys. Like I said, uh, this is not financial advice, and it is absolutely not you know, advice on what you, you know, should do, but, you know, it, it can be something that's kind of fun to try out. Um, say, for instance, if Varus becomes available and everybody runs over to that, you know, the hash rate might drop off CKB, and, you know, if you try this, you might be able to theoretically find a block, you know, sooner. So it's something to try. Um, it's not a guarantee, but uh, you know there there may be better results than than just you know your your vanilla uh, version of mining. So have a great uh, rest of your day, and we'll see you next video.